Howdy, folks. How you doing? This is Heath, and this is the Frontier Survival Channel. Guys, it's March 2nd, 2024, and spring is almost here. But we're able to get out in the woods today and bring you a little video where we're going to be discussing our workplace everyday carry, EDC, and get home bag. Not too long ago, we introduced this bag, and we showed you the components and all the different things that this bag has to offer Guys, today we're going to show you the kit, the get home bag kit that we got going on in here and our workplace everyday carry. That being said, we're going to start off with what we carry at the workplace. And of course, everybody carries a wallet of some sort, a money clip. So we're going to get that out of the way. We're not, we don't have our wallet with us today, but you all know we might, one might have a wallet. One might have a watch, a good timepiece, right? One might also have um, different things. But what we have at the workplace, since we work at the local hardware store, first and foremost, that we always have in our pocket to use for different things, maybe at the workplace, but mostly in the get-home bag, and that's a Bic lighter right there, guys. So we have that. Also, we have something that uh, I think any hardware clerk should always carry, and that is a tape measure right there, guys. And everybody should learn how to read a tape. So all the young men out there, if you don't know how to read a tape measure, get someone to show you how. But uh, just a 12-foot tape measure, about all anyone would need at the hardware store to measure bolts, different things. So we always keep that on our person, right? Next, but not least would be uh, this bad boy right here. We just had a little short video that we put out on this, and this is just a folding utility knife. And uh, it's the perfect cutting tool to have at a hardware store. That way you're not ruining a good, say, pocket knife, case knife, fixed blade knife. Not saying you can't have something like that with you, but uh, that right there we use to cut vinyl holes. We use that to cut rope to length. Uh, use it to cut cardboard, tape, different things like that when we're stocking, things like that. So it's a nice knife. It's a quick change thing. We've showed that before. You just pull the blade out, boom, there it is. And you can put another blade in. But uh, we'll go ahead and put that back in there real quick. But just a good blade, good overall cutting tool to have at a hardware store or grocery store, any place like that. We got one more item here we want to show you as far as EDC and that we have every day. We had that in the bag here, but uh, we keep this right here on our belt. Nice. Uh, we've got this um, nice uh, sheath uh, pouch, whatever you want to call it, it's by Gentle Stash. That came from the good old Amazon store, and uh, we keep our Mossy Oak multi tool in there. We can get that out. Pretty easy to get out when you got it on your belt. But we've showed this off. If you want to, you can check out a video on that, the Mossy Oak Multi-Tool. But it's got everything you need when it comes to a multi-tool. you got your pliers right there. Uh, all the other components are easy to access without opening it up. But you got the, you know, the bottle opener, the can opener. Right there is a serrated blade. Over here you got the regular blade. So we always have another cutting tool on our person when it comes to everyday carry. You got a file, but last but not least, this is what I like the best, and that is a saw. So if, if it comes to a situation where we're gonna to have to get home and uh, there's some type of emergency, we got our get home bag, we got our components in it, say we might have to duck under somewhere in the woods, we have a folding saw to use along with other cutting tools to process wood if need be. So there you have it. Been right back down there because we threw that down for some reason. But also, we always carry a small flashlight. And this is just a not nothing fancy Energizer brand flashlight, as you see right there. Decently bright. But uh, we always have that on our belt every workday along with our tape measure and our folding pocket knife or utility knife, if you will. 
So that's some of our everyday carry other than our wallet, um, our car keys, our watch. We showed our watch. Of course, we always had the big lighter. We showed that. Guys, we're going to show you the components of the get home bag. But what we're going to do, we're going to turn the camera around and show you that. So stick with me. All right, thanks for sticking with us, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get into what we got going on in this get home bag kit. Now, we've already showed you cutting tools. We've showed you combustion devices. That don't mean we don't have any more. But next off, we got a container here, guys, with some water. And speaking of water, I'm going to take a drink because we haven't in a while. You got to hydrate. Ah, oh, there you go. That hit the spot container guys right there water next we have our more knife heavy duty companion right here in our lovely favorite color olive drab green army green whatever you want to call it call it ranger green some people do but awesome awesome nice more knife has always been a good go-to bushcraft knife for a lot of people Although this isn't a bushcraft bag, it's a get-home bag, we still have this fixed blade in there. Never know. We have a uh, five foot by seven foot tarp wrapped in its own little bag right there. Good compact size. Nothing fancy because nothing about this channel is fancy, guys. You all know that. You all that have been around for a long time know that we're all about budget-friendly gear. Guys, this came from a big big box store, although I would uh, like to have bought it uh, somewhere locally. We had to go to that to get that, but uh, outdoor products is not a bad deal and not too bad of a tarp. Now, what we have here is our emergency bivy. It's always good to have. It also comes in its own little pouch with the drawstring and all. But uh, an, an emergency biv bivy is always good to have. Now, we actually at one time sold these at the hardware store that I work at right here in my local hometown. And uh, we don't anymore, but I was able to acquire one. Didn't cost a whole lot, just like I always, uh, we always like to look for stuff in thrift stores, different things like that. So we've always talked about that, especially in the live streams and things. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, well, well with, with no particular order, but here's our Y-Nex Tactical First Aid Pouch. And, of course, that is our first aid kit. A lot of it is ouchy boo-boo stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's probably what you're going to need to help you, to sustain you until you get home. So there you have it. And uh, what we got here is a bag, another little pouch with, uh, well, we got some duct tape you never know when a person might need that might need to repair that tarp might need to repair that emergency bivy and that duct tape actually this is a gorilla tape pocket gorilla tape that you can uh, purchase at uh, a lot of different places and we actually sell this at the true value hardware store that i work at um so that's good to have but also in this pouch as we unzip it now this pouch came from a thrift store guys we have some rope and cordage and different things like that that one might need. Different hanks and stuff. You never know. So there you have it. There's that. And did that cover another C? Cordage. Okay. Let's keep on going through the bag here. Let's see what else we got going on. We have a cotton bandana. It's a good use for uh, water filtration, uh, personal hygiene, different things like that. We have a emergency poncho. Not nothing fancy, just something to use if you get caught in the rain. And, uh, you know, if it tears or whatnot, it's easily thrown away. Um, or you can repair it with duct tape. <laughs> okay, a survival emergency blanket. We got one of those. We got the bivy, we got this, we got a tarp. So we got plenty of cover, guys. 
Oh yeah, that emergency poncho, you can't forget that. That can act as cover as well. Now this is something that you probably wouldn't necessarily need in a get home bag, but we keep it in there anyway, and it's a small bear of binoculars. Always good to have, maybe to check out uh, something in the distance. But these are great, great binoculars. Also comes in its own little pouch and cleaning cloth inside. Oh, uh, let's see here. We have our Sumblesa headlamp. Now we showed you the flashlight earlier, which is a candling device. This right here is as well. But that being said, most people will go to a headlamp than a handheld flashlight because, uh, you know, it keeps uh, everything's hand free. But nice little tool to have in a get home bag, most definitely. So there you have it. This is a rechargeable one, of course. Got the rechargeable cord there. Now it's already charged up, and uh, that is another thing I might need to add in here is some type of uh, solar uh, charging panel or something like that. Uh, let's see. We got a uh, live straw right there to uh, filtrate water if need be. Now we have plenty of water in the container to use. Now when you're using, now that's the one thing I want to get at. A lot of people might show uh, something where they're in a get home situation and they got a get home bag. Now if you got a duck out in the woods, for the most part, you probably aren't going to be able to cook anything. So you're not going to be able to boil water. You probably really don't want to start a fire if you're, uh, say, trying to hide, so to speak, to boil water, to cook. But that's another thing that we don't have in here at the moment. But we'll go ahead and talk about, and that is some rations, some things, non-perishable food that you can keep that you really don't have to cook, but it would still sustain you until you get home. <clears throat> another thing we have in here, which is also another C, which we always love the C's. It's a good way to remember things. The 10 C's, the 5 C's, whatever you want to call it. There's 10 of them, but a lot of people might just use five. But we got our compass here. It's a lensatic compass, very good to use, as you see. Yeah, you know, we got to work on trying to keep, uh, when we're doing this, keeping everything in frame. But there you go. Also, with its own little pouch that you can wear on your belt or what have you. Let's see. Okay. Now, we talked about our Bic lighter. Well, here's our Bayite ferro rod that we try to keep in here because you never know. Redundancy is good. And with all these components, this bag don't weigh a lot. But that being said, we keep our ferro rod with us. We always love this. We always love a good size ferro rod. We got plenty of different sizes that we keep around. But there you have it. Combustion device. Now, for the most part, I work in the local town I live in. It's not a huge town. It's not a metropolis. But there's places where one could obtain water if need be, if they have this. A seal cock key. A seal cock key right there. All different sizes, four different sizes. You never know what size you might need. So that's pretty cool to have that. Some people call it a water key or whatever, but you can go up to places of business, uh, commercial buildings. A lot of them will have the little tab sticking out to where you can use this key, turn the valve, and the uh, catch you some water in your container or whatever but you really don't need this out here where we're at right now but you never know so we keep it in the bag and let's see that's pretty much close to being it but one last item and we can use this as a cover as well if we wanted to but we can also use this to if we're out in the woods bugging out trying to get home we might have to stay the night. We can fill this contractor bag, trash bag, up with leaves and debris and make a nice bag. Uh, not bag, but bed. Nice bed to bring you up off the ground a little bit to help uh, with uh, core body temperature and things like that. Guys, that's the kit there. That's what we got going on. 
Now, we talked about food. We talked about uh, other things, you know, that we don't have in the bag. So that's something we can add later. We're just showing you some of the things that we've had in there now. We're going to uh, go ahead and turn the camera back around, give you some final thoughts, and uh, send you on your way. All right, guys. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. And with that being said, we're not going to ask you to subscribe. We're not going to ask you to like or comment on this video. We just hope you enjoy it. We hope you enjoyed our version of our Get Home Bag, the kit components and things. We hope we didn't rush things along, but we wanted to make the shortest video possible and get to the point. So there you have it. Guys, we're going to do our best to bring more video content your way in a more urgent manner either weekly, bi-weekly, something like that, a lot more sooner than we have been. We're not going to give you no excuse on why we haven't, other than that things happen, and uh, there you have it. We're just going to try our best. We appreciate you guys, and we want you to always have the drive to survive. Woo! We'll see you on the next one.